Dragon Ball Heroes has brought in many cool concepts like the Golden Cooler transformation, a Janemba and a Kid Buu fusion, Xeno Goku, a Demigrant and Omega Shenron fusion, and very recently, a Saiyan who makes Broly look like a wimp. Cumber is an evil Saiyan with a mysterious origin, but power that is definitely to not be overlooked. The question comes up, is he actually more powerful than the likes of Vegito, Beerus, and Jiren, and even Broly? Well, let's go ahead and get into it. Bitch, I bet I could. Bitch, I bet I would. On the low, what's up with you, ho? Bitch, you smoking drunk. Bet you know, bust like 44 when I spit that flow. Cause we go hard, like that shit they hustle on the boulevard. Fuck your bra, bitch, I bet I could. Bitch, I bet I would. Like many Dragon Ball characters, Cumber's backstory is not really well known at all, but there are several theories surrounding his plausible connection to that of Yamoshi and the original Super Saiyan God, which I will touch up on. Cumber is one of the big contenders in the Prison Planet arc, and he was actually imprisoned by Fu, who is way more powerful than he is, at least currently. He was then released to face off against Capsule Corp Goku, Capsule Corp Vegeta, Trunks, and even Golden Cooler. Now guys, keep in mind, this Goku and this Vegeta are actually post Tournament of Power, so basically post Super, but are within Heroes, so they aren't the same exact one from the main series, but they follow the same events. Within the video games, it was actually stated by Goku that a restrained Cumber that went in a straitjacket, so obviously his arms were locked and he wasn't at full power, was more powerful, that he had strength different from that of Beerus and Jiren alike. And keep in mind, this is just base without being at full power. So right off the bat, they are telling us that Cumber in base is more powerful than anyone else in the Terminal of Power and more powerful than any God of Destruction, which is pretty crazy to be honest. Now within the manga, Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta were completely unable to even put a dent in Cumber, and for some reason, when uh, Cumber saw Super Saiyan God or the red glow of that form, he went completely nuts and berserk. Now, this could actually tell us two really important things. One, this could mean that Cumber actually faced off against uh, a Super Saiyan God in the past, I mean it could have been Yamoshi, who knows, because the story of Yamoshi is that he actually faced off against evil Saiyans, and Cumber is an evil Saiyan, so I mean who knows if he has a connection to him whatsoever, or it could also mean that Cumber has actually performed the god ritual, he knows what it looks like, it could actually make sense as to why his base form is really really powerful, because he encountered the god essence. Next up, in the anime and the manga, when Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta were completely unable to do anything to Cumber, I mean even Golden Cooler was like spamming so many shots at Cumber, it didn't even do anything to him, so that is when Goku and Vegeta were like, yeah, we need to lay down our pride, we need to fuse and actually get this guy over and done with, or so they thought. So once Goku and Vegeta actually obtained the Sensu Beings and the Batara Earrings from Mai, they immediately went into Super Saiyan Blue once they became Vegito. So yeah, Vegito was not messing around, he was not doing his playful taunting, he did not turn Super Saiyan, he was not in base form. He immediately went Super Saiyan Blue, and Cumber instead of being terrified or even like being like, oh shit, this guy's really powerful, he was actually just excited and he was like, wow, now this is worth a fight, this is definitely like now getting my blood pumping, and he was still not even phased by the power that Vegito showed. He was even just casually holding his own against him. Now at this point, you might be thinking, okay, there is no way Cumber is still more powerful, but hold on, okay? Now in the manga and the anime, the battle actually goes a bit differently and the scaling kind of goes a bit more wonky, but it actually still holds on to the same thing that base Cumber is more powerful than anyone else they've ever fought before. Now comparing the manga and the anime, I would say that the manga actually gives Vegito a lot more justice because he actually pushes Cumber to use his Super Saiyan form. Now we don't know if it's grade 1 or grade 4, but a matter of the fact is that Vegito in Super Saiyan Blue is more powerful than base Cumber, quite possibly even Super Saiyan Cumber going by how the fight went on. Now as the battle was heating up between Cumber and Vegito, there's actually where we get a lot more dialogue and Vegito even says, okay, now I'm gonna get serious. And that is when he actually unleashed Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. And that was actually really crazy, like you would think that he defused right away, but he actually didn't. Now we don't know if it's times 4, times 10, times 20, but the matter of the fact is that even a Super Saiyan Cumber at this point is at least more powerful than Super Saiyan Blue Vegito in Super Saiyan. Then we get some more dialogue that is really, really concerning for how powerful Cumber is because he says, okay, now you're getting serious and I will get serious too. And that is when he actually unleashes the Golden Uzaru. So he unleashes like a power ball, he begins transforming, and that is when the manga actually, you know, finishes a chapter. So we don't even get anything past that. 
Now, whether you have watched my Super Saiyan Blue against Super Saiyan 4 video or even my Super Saiyan 4 Multiplier video, I actually go into depth onto how Golden Uzaru could very well grant an 8 to 10 times multiplier on top of a Super Saiyan 3. So basically, this Golden Uzaru Cumber would be at least 40,000 times more powerful than base Cumber. Now you guys, if you believe that Cumber was already insanely OP in the manga, well in the anime he is even more overpowered and makes Vegeta look like a completely harmless child. So essentially within the anime, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is already struggling against a base Cumber and he even needs to use Kaioken. So Cumber at this point is not even going at full power, he is not even going Super Saiyan, he is still in base fighting against Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. And then in the anime, they actually do a little beam clash and Vegito actually loses it. He actually loses the beam clash against base Cumber. And then, you know, that is when we basically get the realization that Cumber was still holding a lot more power back. And that is when he finally unleashes the Golden Uzaru. Now, as impressive as it might be, uh, defeating Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Vegito is still not the best thing that Cumber did in, you know, the manga and the anime because he actually did something that actually made Fu become personally involved. So, for those of you that have played Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, you might already know who Fu is. He is like a teenager, he's like a demon, he is the son of Mira and Toa, who are actually the main antagonist in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And this guy's a troublemaker, he likes getting people from other timelines and universes, and have them fight against each other for his own entertainment, kind of like a gladiator match per se. Now he has many crazy showings in Dragon Ball Universe 2 mostly, that is where he actually debuted it in the first place. And I mean, I will do a power skill on him down the line, but to give you guys a quick tease of how powerful this guy is, he could casually reset the entire infinite history within Dragon Ball Universe 2 and just confirm that there's like a, you know, infinite timelines and stuff like that. So yeah, this guy's on a whole other level and keep in mind that he is just a teenager. He still has a lot more to go in his potential. And to prove even more that Fu is really powerful in his technology as well, he could even put key sealing handcuffs on Cumber that he could not break out of until he actually became enraged. So Fu is already casually more powerful than Jiren and Beerus at this point and he is, you know, he definitely has a lot more to show and, you know, in store in the future. Now as I mentioned, although it might seem really impressive that Cumber defeated Vegito and outlasted him, he actually has a much more impressive feat in his Golden Uzaru state, which actually got Fu involved once he was tearing away and causing heavy damage to the prison planet's chains. Now to my knowledge, this is not stated in the anime or the manga, but it is stated in the video games, which I mean obviously the anime and the manga derive from the games. And in this case, it was actually confirmed by Fu that the prison planet's chains actually have the most powerful binding spell in all of history. So this should tell you that Fu's spells are far above that of Mira, Toa's, and Demigra's, and these guys have many, many more years of experience, and Fu is like, you know, way younger than they are, but he heard he has more potential than any of his elders. Although we do not see this battle actually take place in the manga or the anime, I mean, it will happen in the next episode, episode 4, in which Fu will actually be transforming. But we actually did see a teaser within a Super Dramble Heroes promo, and Golden Uzaru does exactly what he did in the anime, and that is tearing away at the chains, and Fu immediately transforms into Super Fu, meaning that Golden Uzaru Cumber is more powerful than base Fu. Like, that is very clear, because Fu was like, okay, I need to transform, and he actually has a, you know, a state where his hair spikes up like a Super Saiyan. Now who knows how much more powerful he is in that state, but I think it is very clear that Golden Uzaru Cumber is the most powerful being thus far in all Dragon Ball Heroes. Now guys, as I mentioned, Fu has many more impressive showings in Dragon Ball's Universe 2, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown that he should be really comparable in power to Cumber, and Cumber does not surpass him until he actually obtains Golden Uzaru. Also, I'm going to bring this up really quickly. Now, many of you guys might be questioning already on how Golden Uzar could grant a 40,000 times boost. It is actually going by the notion that according to a manga legendario, a Spanish guy that is, you know, official to Dragon Ball, says that Super Saiyan Grade 3 offers a 10 times increase on top of Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan Grade 4, or full power Super Saiyan, could also be, uh, you know, around that level of power, if not even higher. So I think it is very possible that going by that, that Golden Uzaru could be 40,000 times of base form. 
On another note, I think it is very possible that if Cumber obtains Super Saiyan 4 or Super Saiyan Blue or even Super Saiyan God, that he could actually become Angel Tier, if not even more powerful than that. I mean, he is already way more powerful than any of the gods or, you know, Vegeta or Jiren and base alone. Well, not even being at full power. So just keep that in mind, guys. Anyways, to decipher on who is more powerful between Fu and Cumber doesn't really matter that much because the matter of the fact is these two guys are really comparable in power and they are both more powerful than Jiren, Beerus, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, and obviously Broly. Um, but anyways, now in the near future, I will be doing a versus battle between Cumber and Broly, and although it might already seem like Broly gets completely dominated, <coughs> Seth, <laughs> I think it is very possible that Broly could actually pull out a win if we incorporate things that he has in Dragon Ball Heroes and Dragon Ball Universe alike. So be on the lookout for that guys, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you thotties next time. Peace out.